Hola, hello. <laughs> My name is Amy. Hello. I'm from Australia. This is Mario. He is Portuguese, obviously. Um, well, that's the flag. We are stuck here in Lisbon during the Rona, so we thought we would entertain ourselves by Mario. I don't know, helping me try some Portuguese drinks, specialties of the country, I suppose. This is Rocky Balboa. Rocky. He's very cute. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I don't know, we just thought we'd do a video, get an Aussie opinion on some Portuguese drinkies, and maybe we'll follow it up with a food one next time, we'll see. But anyway, what shall we start with? <laughs> okay, so big res responsibility here for me, I suppose. <laughs> we don't have a lot of drinkages here, but to introduce, uh, I have the best chocolate milk in the entire world called Ukal. I tend to say you, Cal, but I have been told this is wrong. <laughs> it is wrong. She knows how to say it. How do you say it? You, Cal. Ah, oh, come on. It's not that hard, is it? <laughs> Leech com chocolate. <laughs> you just always have to keep in mind that these glass bottles build up the chocolate here in the bottom, so I'm just going to shake it to mix it all. I also dropped one on the kitchen floor and it smashed everywhere. So. Yeah, I remember that one. Not great for the clumsy among us. <laughs> but this, my friends... There's a little bit of Portuguese heaven right there. <laughs> and I have it here for you. <laughs> Opens. Please be delighted. <laughs> now I have had this before, but not for a while, so this will be nice. <laughs> it's the best chocolate milk you'll ever try. Come yes. on, admit it. <laughs> Just try it. Better than Milo. No, no. <laughs> Milo. No, I haven't had I haven't had Milo in more than two years. So at the moment oh. I guess I prefer the Ukal just because it's more accessible to me. But it is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like I know people will probably be like like chocolate milk is chocolate milk anywhere, but I don't know. There's something about it, whether it's the glass bottle or yeah, some, I think the glass bottle helps it a lot, to be honest. Some sacred ingredient I don't know about, but it's, it's very nice chocolate milk. <laughs> delicious. It's really, really nice. So, that so, one gets okay. a tick of approval. Tick of approval. <laughs> Ukal, of course. Of course, everyone knows this. Everyone loves it. Okay, so I've got another one here for her to try. It's probably our most famous fizzy drink. It's a natural product, I totally dare to say. <laughs> so this comes in a little Christmas package, but the drink is called <laughs> Sumol, and this one is a passion fruit flavor. Okay, the original ones are pineapple and orange. They're not the passion fruit, but I know you like passion fruit. I do like passion fruit. So I think you will <laughs> love it. This would be something, I don't know, similar to Fanta, but not. In, it's just better. In it's Australia, really good. we have a passion fruit drink called Passiono. Passiona. And there's another one like Passionita or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we have some passion for fizzy drinks, but um, let's see how this compares. <laughs> okay. I think I've had this Just before, be honest. haven't I? I've had the orange one. Anyway. Yeah, you've had the orange <laughs> one. I, I think you didn't have that one. Mm. It's nice. It's not like super fizzy. Mm. I find like all of the sumos here, like the orange and the pineapple as well, like they're not super duper fizzy. No. Um. If that's true. But <clears throat> no, it's really nice. Yeah. You compare it with Fanta's or Cola's, yeah. it's true. It's less fizzy, less... but um, passion for it, yeah, that always is a winner. Maracuja? Maracuja? Maracuja. Maracuja. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> always biting me. <laughs> it is delightful. I'm going to try it yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is nice. Mm. <laughs> that is a nice fizzy drink. And trust me, I'm not into fizzy drinks at all. No, not really, but so that also gets to confirm. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> those are the two non-alcoholic drinks, pretty much. Oh yeah, so, that I got for her to try. So now we're gonna step up to the next level. Thank you. And we're also going to include a drinking snack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are these, boys? You know the, the answer. Do you know how to pronounce uh, these in Portuguese? Tremoso. <laughs> Tremoso. Tremoso. No. <laughs> Lupin bean, whatever that is. <laughs> Some type of bean. Some type of bean is right. <laughs> I don't know exactly which. Just be careful, it's loaded up with water. We just open it up. Do you know how to eat these? Squeeze. 
squeeze it into your mouth. So yeah, there's a little hole. I don't know if you guys all are familiar with these, but these are very classic. We always have this when we're having our beer, for example. I had never okay. seen these until like a month ago. <laughs> Some people bite the tip and then they squeeze it. For me, I just point the hole and I just... That's it. <laughs> it's not coming up. The shelf is up. <laughs> Start up. Just smash it. Okay. Once you try them. It's like salt water. <laughs> It is very salty. It's like a salty snack, but it's so good. Mm. And it goes so well with beer. You can be munching on these for ages. Now, personally, I would prefer like chips or nuts, but... I suppose. Maybe this is healthier somehow. <laughs> I'm not beer. sure about that. <laughs> maybe it's healthier. Oh, preserved? Mm. Well, I'm not sure about that, if it's healthier. It's probably than... healthier than chips, at least. But I totally like those. So. Anyway, where's the beer to go with it? <laughs> Jesus. Well, the beer is beer. coming. Give me the beer. <laughs> okay, so I got the two ones. The biggest rivals, the ones and only. Superbach and Sagres in the mini format. The 25 centiliter, 25 centiliter bottles. The way we like to drink it in outside in a summer day, whatever. These are like our true beers, the competitors. Whatever one has as well, the other one has. So which one did I open? Sagres. Okay, let's start there. Mm -hmm. See what you think of this. <laughs> now, there's a big competition going on between these two beers. There is a very big rivalry. There's to a big me, rivalry. Like it's either one or the other. Like, I personally like I have I have tried both of them. I wouldn't say there is a massive difference necessarily. Yeah. But I'm sure the the purists <laughs> among the beer yeah, they will. community can tell. <laughs> I don't know. You'll be criticized for that, trust me. <laughs> trust me. A lot of people will be like, let's try the Sagrish. <laughs> <clears throat> but they both go hand in hand, in fairness. And uh, you'll find, when you find one, you find the other. It used to be more like, um, like let's say, the Sagras in the Lisbon area. People would be more fond of Sagras, but. Mm -hmm. And uh, people in Porto would be more fond of Superbot, but not anymore. I don't think so. I don't think that happened. Yeah. I mean, it tastes fine. Like, Obviously, there's a lot of beers in Australia. Nice, soft. There were a lot of beers in Ireland where we used to live. <laughs> but mm. to me, like, like it's going to sound really bad, but they all kind of taste the same. Unless it's something like a Guinness where it's obviously very different. Oh, well, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> anyway, I'm having another bean. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? And they go really well with the beer. They're okay. So you got the... I I'm even going <laughs> to try this again because I'm a super bop man myself. Mm. I, want, I really want to have, like, the notion of difference as yeah. well, again. Yeah, I don't drink Sagres at all. I just drink Superbuck because I know that I'm not, like, a big fan of Sagres. And it has kind of a flavor to it, at least for me. Yeah, I mean, if you're used to drinking it since yeah. you've ever tr put beer in your mouth, it makes a difference. Now, Superbuck, <laughs> that's my favorite anyway. Yeah, I think I like Superbuck more, but let's... <laughs> do, you, do you know? <laughs> well, yeah, last time I tried it, I thought I did, but it's been a while. <laughs> uh, mm. Beyond. <laughs> about you, Rocky? I think I like it better, but to be fair, they're pretty similar. To me, anyway, my limited polish, <laughs> I find them very similar. Hmm, let me try my... <laughs> my opinion. No, there's a different taste to Superbuck. I still, I prefer Superbuck. You can prefer Cyrus, no. okay? No, maybe. It's not like it's better because Mario says it. Maybe I just like it better because then you like it better. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But, I don't know. Um, but it, I prefer it. Although, to be fair, in the fridge at the moment, oh, yes. I do have... That's a good beer. I do have some Cyrus with lemon in the fridge at the moment, which is quite nice, but... Apparently Superbock does the same thing, so I haven't tried that yet either. <laughs> yeah, they all, they pretty much go hand in hand. If one creates a different product, the other one will follow up, of course. It's a market that they cannot lose. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, of course, the Eternal Rivals, you'll find them both in any cafe, anywhere. So, shall we upgrade no. now? Let's go for my faves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one of my favorites ever. <clears throat> Tap of wine, anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that this is the one. But it's a pretty good wine, and we call it Muralhas de Monção. 
I was gonna I was trying to buy Kazal Garcia, which is the most typical one. But like I don't know why there was no Kazal Garcia. No I really been stocking up. Okay. Yeah, probably. It's the corona situation. Yeah. So this is a green one. Mm. I'm gonna open it here Which... with my with my skills that I don't have. <laughs> but, uh, mm. As I was saying, like I don't know that I ever saw green wine in Australia, but then I I never looked for it because I didn't really drink wine before I met you. Um so yeah, like white and red wines still don't particularly float my boat. But this one I find it easier to drink because it doesn't burn as much. So, I think you've only tried the Kazal Garcia though. Maybe, well, I don't know. We've had it in some restaurants. I don't know what they gave us, but anyway. And that's it. With the most <laughs> amazing Portuguese tool that we can have. Joking. I'm sure it's not a Portuguese tool. I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I believe mm. we're not going to claim that this is ours. Yeah, and beautiful Vino Verde. <laughs> Vino Verde. Something else I can't say very well. Vino Verde. <laughs> Vino Verde. Vino Verde. <laughs> Vino. Vino. Verde. 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 Ver. Ver. Okay, that's enough to let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> up too easily. If I have a few days, maybe I'll be better at saying it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're going to be able to say it quicker than her, Rocky? Yeah. Doesn't burn. <laughs> Which is a sign of a good one for me. <laughs> I'll buy it, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. Mm. Very easy to drink. Any meal, okay. any meal at all. Like, this is a very, very, very maybe drinkable wine. Breakfast. Yeah, well, <laughs> not breakfast, of course. <laughs> well, maybe I should address that, all right. I might have some alcoholics looking at this <laughs> thinking, hmm, I don't drink that any time. It's so light. No. Only for lunch and dinner, of course, mm -hmm. with a real meal behind. Ah, beautiful wine. No, it's, it's and I finished that one for sure. <laughs> yeah. Sacrifices must be done. <laughs> now. Now. For the piece de resistance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the last one I chose here. I mean, it's the last one that came into my mind and the, the one that I had the option for. Mm. So I think this is like, this is another one I'd never seen before coming here. Oh, sure, yeah. Ginger. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's. Yeah. I don't know if they sell it anywhere else, if it's just a typical Portuguese thing, but... Um, One liter, 16%. 16%, cherries in the bottom, made out of cherries, obviously. The brand is probably like a cheap bread or something that I can find in my mm. local... That's the only one we could find. ...supermarket. <laughs> it, it will give you the gist of what it is. Uh -huh. Usually you will get this in any, like, um, annual fair, mm -hmm. or in an event like St. Anthony's, where people go into the streets and they're mm -hmm. drinking and having fun and so forth. We had it in Sintra, was it, with my parents when they were here? Yeah, you had it in mm -hmm. Sintra in like a little uh, chocolate cup. A little mm -hmm. shot chocolate cup. That's how we like to drink it most of the time. Yeah. So the chocolate cup with the ginger, you just put everything in your mouth <laughs> yeah. and nice. everything just go. It's really yeah. nice. And uh, we also had it New Year's Eve, just so they had all these little cups kind of in the middle of town selling little, little cups of it. So yeah, happy days. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see before I open it. There's some cherries here in the bottom as well. Yeah, you can have a notion bit, anyway. Yeah. yeah, there are some cherries in the bottom as well. This is originally from Abidush. It's like a, a place what fifty kilometers north of Lisbon, something as such. Mm. They have like a medieval fair there mm. where they promote this. I a think lot. We were, is that what we were going to go to last year, but we didn't get to. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a really nice Do you thing. Eat the cherries when you get to that part. Some people, yeah, some people mm, munch on the cherry and just leave the the seed in the yeah. engine. <laughs> but not me in particular. Well, yeah. I didn't come to that level, but depends on who you are, I suppose. So it just smells like cherries. It doesn't burn to smell it. It's like not that. No, it's it's sixty sixty yeah. percent. It's yeah. not too It's bad. very sweet, to be honest. It's yeah. it's it's a sweet little liquor. You can I'm not going to drink all of it. <laughs> Drink it as a digestive or something, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it is pretty delicious. I think, anyway. Tastes kind of like lollies. <laughs> Just like lollies. Candy, yeah. <laughs> you didn't drink it all? I'm not going to drink all of that. In the cloud. But in one go. Yeah, just throw it. What did you think? Okay, no, don't. I'm... Ah, come on. <laughs> what do you say here? Saud. <laughs> Saud. Saud. <laughs> it's our cheers. We say health. Translated Sewood. It's 
they're pretty much held. It's like the French, pretty much. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Lattens, what do you think? <laughs> Gotta have one as well. If you have that much, then it burns a little bit on the way down, but it is very sweet there. But it's, it is very it's sweet. It's not bad at all. It's very, very sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wow. is cool. So, Amy, mm. the question still remains. Which one of these drinks is your favorite and why? <laughs> well, they're all very different, though. I know. I can't, like... I wouldn't say I dislike any of them. In their own place, like the chocolate milk or the fizzy drink or the beer or the wine or me and the ginger. Yeah. Which one would you prefer, to be honest? Like, I, well... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I'm no, a, a child. <laughs> I like, I'm 34 years old and I love that. Like, that's the best chocolate milk that it's, I can find anywhere. So it's really nice. I like it, yeah. <laughs> I understand then, the choice. I understand the choice. I don't know. I mean, yeah, like, they're yeah. all nice. Let's be fair, yeah. it's really good. They're all just very different, you know. But I suppose overall, I would say that, because it's probably the most drinkable to me. <laughs> no, definitely. And it's really delicious. Yeah. So, that's all we have to try for today. Um, yeah, maybe next week we'll do one with some Portuguese food. I'm sure you have a list of interesting things I could try. I mean, other than these... Beans? But I'll, <laughs> I'll find it, Nora. Uh, these mm. beans don't even go to the equation. Yeah. They're uh, just snacks. Right? Yeah, so, hopefully you enjoyed. If so, like and subscribe. <laughs> um, this is pretty much my first video. I did upload one yesterday of me trying another Portuguese food, actually. A low quash, <laughs> or what do you call it? A... Nespera. 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 <laughs> Just break it down in syllables. It anyway, makes it easier for you. In English, it's called a low quad. <laughs> um, I know, like, I'd never even seen that. I don't know if I've just been living a very sheltered life. But anyway, so I have a little video time lapse of the low quad and just some random travel videos. Um, but hopefully, we can do some more of these while we are still in Portugal. And then once we get to Australia, we can turn the tables and have him trying some Aussie treats. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Veggie mine. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> but yeah. So, totally down for that one. Yeah. Okay. So oh, there he goes. He wants to play with the loop and... Brookie's going to try the beans. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, we will see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>